I think I've probably always been interested in antique textiles, probably since I studied the Renaissance at school. <laughs> The main interest came from working in the theatre as a scene painter. I was asked to go with a costume designer on a long shoot about Mary Queen of Scots and I just went as a wardrobe assistant and completely got a passion for the whole thing and I've never really stopped working in the industry since then. Probably the first exciting project that I worked on was with Danny Boyle and I did a series called Mr Rose Virgins and I did the first two series of Downton Abbey the reason that I was so keen to work on that series in the first place was because it was a new script, it wasn't from a classic drama. And in a period of time that often gets overlooked in drama, it's a change in style, it's almost the beginning of the 20th century. Any time you are doing a project, even if you've worked in that period of time before, you start again. So I always go to museums, art galleries, and of course the internet. So there's a mass of information. Cosprop, where my office is often, have 45 to 50,000 costumes of all different periods. So you have a lot of work to do to find what you want and where you want it. The hardest part of our job is to make the clothes look like they belong to the person. You've failed if it looks like costume. Working with Helena Bonham Carter, who was playing Elizabeth Taylor, I could not put on her the clothes that Elizabeth Taylor wore. They were completely different shapes. But we had to capture the essence of Elizabeth Taylor. I think that's what people watch for. They have to believe that that was Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor. Otherwise, we're lost, aren't we? Okay. <laughs> you couldn't be a costume designer without collaboration. However skilled a costume designer, they're not going to be able to be tailors, milliners. They bring in the specialist skills. I think the problem now is that the funding is being withdrawn and we're really having a problem in the film, television, theatre and opera industries that are not enough people are specialising and if they want to, there's not enough opportunities for them. My generation, with some absolutely brilliant milliners, tailors, corsetry makers, are getting to the point that they're going to be retiring. And who's training the next generation? I have a lot of interest now in putting back. I've been working in costume for 35 years and the way that I feel I can do that is with symposiums and with encouraging some funding and some training to go into different crafts. The industry has such high production values throughout the world. Our series are the best, really. We need the best technicians. My name is Susanna Buxton. I'm a costume designer and I'm London-based.